Welcome back, dear viewers. We've been joined here in the series of Hella Kuwait with our special guest, Ghadir al Falchawi, coffee blogger and home barista. Hello and welcome, Ghadir. Hi, hello. Of course, it's a pleasure to have you here in the series of Hella Kuwait and we'd like to know more. What got you into blogging? What got me in blogging actually after the specialty coffee introduced to Kuwaiti community. Uh, I've got interested to uh, what is a specialty coffee? And that the question what get me in actually uh, blogging. Of course, and what do you think was the aim behind it? Did you want to share your experience about coffee with the audience to give the people an idea about the different kinds of coffee as well? Exactly. The aim uh, behind that, uh, I want to uh, uh, people to know more about coffee. I need them to understand what is coffee and share information, exchange uh, uh, information with, with each other and experiment as well. Uh, and also evaluating the wonderful query businesses, uh, their services, their uh, whatever they, uh, the product they offer, uh, and have fun as well. Of course, it's always uh, nice to go out, have a cup of coffee with some friends and even with family members. I think we have a lot of coffee shops here in Kuwait and they're all amazing. And I think everyone is really enjoying the coffee, especially here in the Kuwait uh, city. And uh, I'm sure you had a lot of different challenges along the way. So did you have any challenges you would like to share with us today? Yeah, exactly. When I uh, into a blogging, I didn't know what uh, uh, the techniques or whatsoever I need to know to start blogging. But through my journey, I understand what the thing I need uh, uh, to strengthen my blogging and my Instagram account. But number one challenging is timing. I have to find the time uh, to uh, blog, also to uh, enhance myself and upgrade, upgrade myself uh, about the subjects I'm interested in because I have a lot, a lot of interest. Of course, and earlier you talked about your different interests and each one is completely different from the other. Exactly. You like uh, taking care of plants, you read a lot of uh, literature books. I think uh, different interests is very important to know what you're into, you know, challenge yourself every once in a while. I think time management is really important as well. Exactly. It's very hard to find the time to, uh, to manage between uh, different uh, uh, subjects and uh, as me, as a person, I like to be very uh, um, professional on the things I like and love. Of course, so why did you choose coffee to blog about? Because you have a lot of different interests. Why did you choose coffee? At first, I get fascinated with the specialty coffee. And then I start to blog, to blog about coffee and went to the different coffee shops because here uh, coffee shops is like uh, a place to have fun and just chill out after work or, or uh, after uh, an event. It, it really get me fascinated. So when I start uh, to uh, um, blog about coffee, I felt that I really enjoy it. I feel very joy and very happy. So I start uh, in this journey and uh, I'm very, uh, thank God for it. Of course, uh, it's really amazing to find something you're passionate about. And as you mentioned earlier, you mentioned that as soon as you started, you didn't have any background check when it came to blogging and you, lo you learned a lot of things along the way. So is there something like a tips you would like to share with us uh, for any blogger who just started, who doesn't know like the right path, the do's and don'ts? Exactly. Uh, if he or she want to start a blogging, they have to keep in mind they have to understand some the basics at least for for several uh, fields like they have to know basics of uh, photography videography they have to know a little bit about marketing uh, also the uh, account management because you have to manage your own account uh, and you know to know you have to know the techniques of the uh, uh, the uh, tool or the uh, app that you use like for example Instagram you have to know the techniques how to use the uh, Instagram and the uh, hacks and all of that of course and uh, we know that you're a home barista yes. and you learned on your own this is something she shared before we started the interview yeah. so how did you start uh, becoming a home barista tell us about that when I start blogging about coffee, I get, as I said, I get fascinated with the coffee. So I try to know more and more and more about coffee. And I see it's like 
a very wide and general uh, topic. It's not uh, easy. It's not just to grind, uh, bring a coffee bean and grind it and do it. No, there is a mathematics. There is like uh, steps to do that. So I get fascinated with that. S then I start to learn from other baristas. Uh, then uh, share information with the with the people who share the same interest. Uh, and then I take that path, and I'm I'm very very happy with it. I'm sure all your friends and family members really enjoy coming to have a cup of coffee with you at home. <laughs> exactly. I am the small coffee shop at home. Of course. And uh, I think before you started, uh, was it something that you wanted to learn? Is there like different steps that you wish to learn before uh, learning something new about being a home barista? Would you like to take uh, classes in the future? Is this something you plan? Uh, yeah, I, I could take many classes because uh, here uh, Kuwait they offer a very specialist uh, uh, classes for to be very pro in, in home barista. Uh, sharing information with, with the, the coffee community is very 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 helpful, and it get me to uh, to to be in a, a good. I'm not gonna be uh, say professional home barista, but it's it's good home barista. Uh, so uh, I could do a more uh, experiment as well because in coffee world you have to do a many and a lot of experiments and just take a note and uh, you'll be good of course and uh, right now we'll take a short break and we'll be right back with you to talk more about coffee with our special coffee blogger stay tuned Welcome back, dear viewers. We are back with our guest, Ghadir Al-Falchawi, coffee blogger and home barista. Of course, we talked a lot about coffee, but you haven't told us which one is your favorite. Is it Arabic coffee? Is it Turkish coffee? Is it flat white? My favorite coffee is uh, Kalita. And why is that? Because it has special uh, uh, taste. It's smooth in the coffee. Of course, and uh, we'd like to know more about tips about coffee, of course. So how can we keep our coffee fresh? How do we do that? So uh, let's agree on one something. The first uh, or number one enemy for coffee is air. So you have to prevent air to, to come inside the, uh, the bag of the uh, coffee beans. So when you prevent the air uh, to, uh, to come inside the, the bag of the uh, coffee, you will get uh, uh, fresh coffee. And also, all of the barista are uh, agree on one uh, and one things is the timeline uh, of the coffee itself. So you have to consume coffee between 14 days till maximum, let's say, three months uh, from roasted time, uh, date. Uh, after that, the quality of the coffee is go down. So try to consume it between 14 till uh, three months. And as a coffee enthusiast, what tips do you have on coffee grinding and even brewing? Because I think a lot of uh, people here in the state of Kuwait, they really enjoy their coffee, especially during quarantine. Everyone really got excited about brewing coffee. So can you share some tips? Exactly. Uh, you have to know that there is element effect coffee, uh, and you have to know it. Uh, so you can uh, grind the coffee in a, in a right size and use the good tools. So the element that affects coffee is the origin of the coffee itself and the date of uh, roast, uh, roasted and also the way it roasted or the way it ferment, fermentation. So there is a lot of fermentation. If you understand those three elements, Grind coffee, uh, grinding coffee and brewing coffee will be more and much easier. So I will give you an example. Uh, if you have an old coffee, you have to raise the degree of the water. But if you have fresh coffee, you don't have to use a very hot water. Um, let's say if uh, another example. Uh, if we have um, uh, fre uh, um, this is the, the grind uh, or the brewing side. Let's go for grind size. Uh, if we have, for example, the origin of the coffee and the tools, if you use the V60, you have to grind it small size than the Kalita uh, tool. 
So if you know the, those stuffs, it will be easy for you to, uh, to have a, a very delicious coffee. Of course, uh, myself, I prefer a French coffee, so that even comes in a different type of grinding as well. So uh, I think a lot of people would like to know, as you are improving as a home barista, what skills are you using exactly? What types of channel do you use? Because I think a lot of people, especially when they're learning at home, they watch a lot of videos. Uh, mm -hmm. Other people, they prefer reading about it. What do you do exactly? Uh, I follow the, spe the very specialist barista. They give recipe and coffee, and also they give tips, and, and they share their own experience. And if you follow those people who really love coffee, special coffee, and know about it, you will share a lot of information. That will prevent you to uh, have a lot of experiments. Uh, so, the, for example, uh, one information you have to do a lot of uh, research, a lot of uh, experiment, but the special uh, perista will give you the uh, information for free. So follow those and also you can uh, Google, Google it or also you can watch uh, YouTube. There's a lot and a lot of uh, experiments and informations. Of course, and I think when it comes to choosing the beans, the coffee beans, there's a lot of different rules and a lot of different types. You can get confused sometimes. So how do we choose the right one? Because I think everyone has a different taste, different flavor. So how do we choose the right one? So first of all, you have to try all of the coffee. You, you might say, I don't like the Ethiopian uh, coffee beans, but try it, and try it in different fermentation. Uh, when you know uh, which type, of, when you try all of the coffee, you know which type or which kind of to coffee you like. And then you can take the, those uh, uh, kind of coffees and try it in different um, tools. Let's say uh, you have to understand the Ethiopian, it's go more to proving site. So you cannot use it as a uh, espresso. But Colubia, uh, Colombian and, uh, for example, Costa Rica, you can use it as an, uh, as an, fill, uh, as, uh, sorry, as an espresso. So when you know those um, uh, basic uh, uh, information, then you will know which type of coffee and which type of tools you like. Of course, and uh, for the future plans, what are you planning? Can you share some of the future plans you have ahead? I have another interest. I'm trying to be more uh, professional in clay. <laughs> I'm trying to be uh, study coffee more, actually, because st still I'm not specialist, a very specialist. Um, trying to know more, more maybe about uh, ro uh, roasting coffee. Of course, I think uh, it's really important to have a lot of different interests and to have a different time. And I think time management is really crucial when it comes to having a lot of different interests. And I really tried the uh, clay. It's really amazing and yeah. it's really relaxing and soothing. Exactly. So we should definitely give that a try. I will. What would you like to say to the dear viewers who are watching at home? Any last final word of advice? Uh, do what you love and don't be afraid to try new things. Uh, do experiment, uh, enjoy what you, what, you, what you really love. And I really like to thank people who give me a time, who give me information uh, about coffee and help me through that wonderful journey. And of course, I would like to thank, thank you and all the cast to give me the time to, to speak about the thing I really love. Well, thank you for being here and for sharing all this uh, beautiful and amazing experience, tips and all that. It's really a pleasure to have you here in the series of Halak Khoi. Thank you so much, Ghadir. Thank you. Dear viewers, we had with us Ghadir Falchawi, coffee blogger and a home barista. So let's move on to our next report. It's about Paul on summer activities. Stay tuned. <laughs>